Carol Christophero Snyder has one message about her husband, Randy. A wonderful man. They got married in 1970 after he returned injured from Vietnam. He was young. He was strong. He came back. But over time, she realized service injuries were not the problem. He'd forget things that the normal person would, would remember. For years, Carol went to every appointment trying to figure out what was wrong. At the time, traumatic brain injuries were not really on the radar. We were told it was my fault, it was marriage problems. It wasn't, though. Turns out, Randy had a spinal cord injury. And after about 45 years of Carol's dedicated care, Randy went to live at the Oregon Veterans Home in Lebanon. And now, stories like Carol's and Randy's are getting talked about nationally. Suffering in silence themselves as the stress of their new roles as caregivers took a toll. Many, like Carol, without a network of support. It was so lonely. I didn't know anybody that was doing what I was doing. But a few years ago, a veterans group called the Elizabeth Dole Foundation started the Hidden Heroes campaign. It recognizes caregivers and connects them to others going through the same thing. There is a camaraderie in the darkest hours, <laughs> a sense of belonging. It's been a long, hard journey. Carol is one of 225 caregivers around the country, serving as an Elizabeth Dole Foundation fellow, offering support and guidance. Her story is being featured in a nationally streamed gala. Carol says she didn't even exist. Advocating for her husband was a fight. Hosted by celebrities like Joe Mantegna. The struggle for Carol inspired her to return to school at 45 and get a master's degree in counseling. She specialized in brain injury, using her husband's experience to help others. What goes into it for you? He doesn't deserve this and he needs the best care possible. And to other caregivers. Thank you for what you're doing. Don't let it overwhelm you. Try to live a life of your own. A message from the Oregon woman still fighting to make a difference. I'm Galen Etlin for KGW News.